You know, I really, before I die, this is, I don't know if this is on my bucket list, maybe it is, N not high, but definitely somewhere in there. I just want to take an electric guitar, just like, not, I won't be able to, maybe I'll learn it someday, and just like play it, and then just go and take it and slam it. Smash it. But it feels like I need to be in front of people, I can't be by myself, because then I'm just like, Ugh. Okay, today we are making saucy, sauce, sauce, saucy, 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 saucy chicken puttanesca. Typically you see puttanesca, uh, a sauce that comes from Naples, uh, Italy, from the Campania region of Italy, uh, paired with spaghetti. But in this case, there's no pasta, it's just chicken and the lovely sauce puttanesca. Okay, first up, I have four whole chicken legs, that's the drumstick and the thigh attached. You could use parts, which will probably cut the time a little bit, uh, not by half, but by a few minutes. I'm just gonna season this with some salt. Okay, we'll set that aside. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm just gonna prep some of the ingredients. A lot of these you don't need to prep, it's not uh, too much. I'm just gonna peel four cloves of garlic. Six cloves of garlic. Okay, so I'm gonna thinly slice all this garlic. What? Did you have the pasta? It's delicious. What are you making today here, bud? Chicken puttanesca. We're just in Italy. You were just in Italy? No, no, no. Just like this is just. Oh, Italy close our eyes over there. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Have you been to Naples? Have I been to Naples? No. Have you been to Italy? Yeah, three times. Well, my grandfather is. They were from Naples. Oh shit. Get down there. We have our chicken season, our garlic sliced. I'm just gonna pit the olives. Ooh, ooh. These are Casavetrano olives. Um, I prefer Casavetrano olives only because they have like a mild buttery flavor to them, but you could use kind of whatever olive you like. I think they work better because I don't wanna go with it all that super salty because you already have a lot of salty flavors between the capers and the anchovies. And so I like an olive that's a little bit more on the mild side. My pity method is just, uh, oh, some people will use the side of a chef's knife. I just go and take whatever kind of flat bottom bowl or mug and I just kind of smash it down. And then once all of them are smashed, I'll just remove the pits. I like to leave them on like the craggly side. I don't chop them up. I want kind of like big, meaty, fleshy pieces of olives. Okay, one by one. See, I kind of like them like that, you know? What? This is how, what this is just like how what life is in Italy. You're just pitting olives and slicing garlic. Ciao. I wish I could speak Italian. Okay, I'm gonna take um, like two strips of lemon. Mm, yeah. I don't think this is very traditional, but I like the kind of floral, citrusy fragrant smell you get from the peel, and then we'll serve it with more lemon wedges. Okay, we're gonna go for four anchovies. Okay, we got all of our stuff. I'm gonna grab a skillet. I'm gonna go medium high on here. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of oil. Uh, not a lot of oil, only because when you brown the chicken, uh, the skin's gonna render a lot of fat. So you're gonna have this nice pool of chicken fat married with the oil. So you don't need more than two tablespoons. The oil doesn't need to be roaring hot. If anything, like, I kind of wanted to, I don't mind putting it when it's a little bit cold. A lot of us do this in the test kitchen and we just go for the kind of the cold pan method and the skin will start to render the fat. Skin side down first. So we'll let this go. Just starting from cold, it's probably gonna take about, uh, like, I'd say 10 to 12 minutes to get a really nice golden brown color. We'll check back. 
Okay, so chicken is brown underneath. You can see the edges getting brown. I'm just gonna flip them. Okay. You wanna make sure there's some contact directly on uh, the surface, just so it browns properly. The other side is probably gonna take only a few minutes, so I would check after three minutes, and then we'll set it aside, and then cook down the aromatics. Okay, I'm gonna remove the chicken. Obviously, this is not fully cooked, but it's gonna go in the oven and finish cooking. Set that aside. Now I'm gonna add the garlic and the four anchovies. I just add the anchovies whole because they're gonna, they're gonna break down and get all speckly. You'll see how like the uh, chicken has released a good amount of fat in addition to the olive oil that we use. If your chicken releases a lot more fat, then I would just pour some out, set it aside, save it for something else. For this, this seems like a good enough fat. And I like having a, a nice pull of fat because that kind of tames all the kind of salty, briny flavors. I tested this recipe quite a few times and I found that I only need to season the chicken and the, sea and the salt from the chicken, that was more than enough to season the entire dish because you have the anchovies and the capers and olives. You'll see that the anchovies have broken down. And I'm just kind of scraping any kind of brown bits. I'm not looking to kind of get the garlic crisp or, or brown. I just want it to soften. I love this. So much garlic. Definitely not a date night dish. Who cares? Make it for yourself. I'm gonna now add some red pepper flakes. I'm going for about half a teaspoon. I like it a little bit spicy. We're just gonna heat that in the oil and let it bloom. And then I'm gonna add two tablespoons tomato paste. I'm gonna stir that around until really the tomato paste is just has split. Now I'm gonna add three quarters cup white wine. Scrape in the bottom. Now I'm gonna cook this until the pan is almost dry. You'll see you have that nice red color from the tomato sauce. And then while this is simmering, I'll add the olives, the capers, lemon strips, bay leaves. And you're just gonna cook this until the wine has reduced. And then we'll add some water, nestle in the chicken, and then transfer it in the oven to, to further cook. It smells good. Okay, so the wine has mostly reduced. I'm just gonna add a cup of water Bring that to a simmer. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Okay, it's starting to bubble. I'm gonna just nestle in the chicken. And add any juice too. I'm gonna turn this off, and I'm gonna transfer it to the oven. Red 350. Uh, we're gonna let that go. Those are whole legs, so that's probably gonna take about, I'd say 35, uh, 40 minutes. I like them really tender. Uh, if it's in parts and you have the drumstick and the thighs um, separated, it's probably gonna take more, like 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, let's check on our chicken. Uh, that looks good. So I will say, I spooned a little bit of the sauce over, that's why it stains the skin a bit. Chicken legs are really hard to play because it always looks like they're, it's like dancing legs. The sauce is thick and it's like, has a really nice silky texture that wants to cling on to the chicken. I have not tasted the sauce, 
but I feel like I can assure you that it's nice and seasoned and it's unnecessary to add any additional salt. Mm, so good. I like serving it with some lemon. I like serving with a uh, lemon, but I also like a little bit of drizzle, uh, dr dr drizzle, drizzle of fresh oil. I don't know, I feel like the sauce is so kind of concentrated and cooked that I want like some kind of zippy citrus and um, some grassy olive oil to bring it back to life. Sola, do you want to try this? I'm not asking you, Sola. You know what was funny? What? At home? Right before you did this? You, your husband. Made chicken fusnesa. And you have said that your husband. You guys are connected. We're connected. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your chicken. Uh, I browned it and then set that aside and then cooked down the aromatics of just like garlic, anchovies, a uh, very kind of classic puccinesca, mm -hmm. uh, capers, olives, wine, uh, a little bit of water to make it more saucy. And then I like to finish it with some more olive oil on top and then lemon wedges. I'm not here. I really like this because then you can. It's very satisfying. Anything. Anything. Yes, you can put nuts in anything. Mm -hmm. You really can. Mm -hmm. It's tasty. Mm. Mm. Can I lemon you? Mm -hmm. How long are we supposed to stay here and eat? I don't know. As long as they tell us to. Where's the bread? We'll get some. I don't know. We'll mm -hmm. figure it out. Mm -hmm. 